Hello everyone, this is Ishwar Zayal Mato and today I am going to show you how you can make a football in SolidWorks software. So let us get started. Select front plane, go for a sketch and again sketch. Draw one circle. Define your dimension 12. Again, take a circle. Define it 11. Draw one more line so that we can trim it. Go for trim entities. Press OK. Go for feature, extrude revolve. In axis of revolution, just click this line and here write 180 degree. OK. Now take top plane, go for a sketch. Again, a sketch. Press Ctrl 8 for proper orientation. Now take again, again a line and the angle between these two is 16.5. Click OK and then go for feature, select extrude cut. First of all, just exit from here and go to extrude cut. And top plane. Cancel it. and activate this theme feature and select it mid plane define its site now we have to take one axis First of all, see the which is the tapered pass, tapered part, sorry, and in that tapered part we have to make one axis. So just go to axis here, select two planes, and take top plane and right plane. And so here the axis is created right now. Now go for here circular pattern select axis of revolution should be this in thin sorry in feature and faces select this part click ok so we made a one pentagon and we have to follow the same procedure but this time we have to make one hexagon. So if you want to add color, just right click it. So it will be adding a color on the section. We do not require this. Press Ctrl Z and again go for appearance. Select the which one color you want to add it and add appearance to the part. Just right on click it and it will be showing in this part whatever we made it now save this select in a desktop just write f11 
now we have to make one more hexagon by following the same procedure go for a sketch again sketch take a front plane take diameter 12 sorry we have to draw one more circle and define this diameter value as 11 now similarly take one line just follow the same procedure whatever we done earlier for pentagon but here we have to make one hexagon that is the only difference that so go to trim entities trim it click ok go for feature select revolve in the axis of revolution just click the same line now select go for top plane sketch again sketch press ctrl 8 for parallel orientation now take center line take angle here 21 degree exit from the sketch select feature extrude cut active this thin feature increase its width and here in blind option go for mid plane and increase its height or thickness value so now we have to take one axis so we have to see which is the tapered face So just rotate it and see which is our tapered part. Now go for reference geometry, select axis, select two planes, expand this part, take front plane and top plane. Click OK. Now go for circular pattern in the axis of revolution. Here it is already highlighted, but I am just clearing it and again I am taking this. And here just write 6 because we need a hexagon that is having a 6 side. So in features and faces, select this cut extrude. Sorry, I think we have taken axis in a wrong part. So just delete it. And again go for axis. Select two planes. Select the stop and right. Click OK. Go for circular pattern in axis of revolution just select this axis and here write down just 6 and feature and faces select this part So here we made one hexagon, if you want to apply color then you can do it, add appearance to the part and save it, write F22.
now again go for new go for assembly click ok and just browse it we need f11 now we required one more component that is f22 select it i think it is not coming from here then no need to worry just browse it and select f22 and keep it here now go for mate select this edge and select this edge now select this edge and this edge click ok now press ctrl it and drag the mouse so it will create a mirror image of that again follow the same for this pentagon press ctrl and drag your mouse now go for here we have to do mirror so just select it these two mirror component and mirror plane will be this click ok so in between two hexagon we have to fix this pentagon so just move it at proper place so that we can easily apply weight option move rotate it and bring it closer to that now again go for mate select this edge and this edge click ok and we have to select one more edges of these two so that it will be perfectly attached with the base with the base part zoom it now we have to place uh, one hexagon in between these two pentagon so move it to a proper place Now again go for met, select this edge and this edge, and again select this edge and this edge. Now Select these two part by pressing Ctrl and go to mirror component and the mirror plane will be this face. Now we have to need define uh, two points that should be center of face.
one more point select this center of face click ok now go for reference geometry select this axis select these two points highlight these two point so our axis is created right now now go for circular component pattern and apart from these two the bottom one and the top one select all the pentagon and the hexagon if you want to clear it just right click on that press control and select it we have to do it again select 5 and here it and here it will be 360 degree and in axis clear it and so axis and select this main axis select this check this equal spacing click ok go to this icon and add this temporary axis points So I think we have made our football and it is looking very nice. If you want to set up in the desktop background, you can also do that. Select or search, go for search option, right sleep tool. and click new and just set it go to file save as desktop capture one so we have to search capture one and set just right click on that and select the second option set as a desktop background as you can see uh, our football is ready to serve so we are done guys so thank you for watching these videos if you have any feedback or suggestion then please write it in my comment box and if you really like that video then please give it thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks again for watching this video.